Sorry guys, this is not... There we go. Alright, we're going to be doing a uh, simile and metaphor practice sheet. And yes, I did say metaphor because that's how I was taught to say it, but you can say metaphor. But my junior, my 11th grade English teacher pounded it into our heads that it's metaphor because what exactly is a metaphor? Like a meadow for? So she drilled it in our heads that it said metaphor. So I don't know. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing uh, similes and metaphor practice. And the first thing we need to do is we need to know exactly what does a simile and meta metaphor actually mean. Well, a simile, and I don't have my pen. Where'd it go? Sorry. A simile is a comparison of two different things using like or as. Now, the like or as is the big thing that sets a simile apart from a metaphor. A metaphor is a comparison that does not use the words like or as. Okay, it's comparing everything, but it cannot have the word like or as. If it has the word like or as, it's not a metaphor, it's a simile. So, it says copy the sentences from the board with, I'm sorry, in the correct space. So, I'm going to write two sentences down. I'm going to do it on the back of this paper. Okay. And what I'm going to ask you to do is think which one's which. So, we have... Being with my students was pure heaven. Okay, that's number one. Then number two, you behaved like absolute angels. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Yes, sorry. Number one and number two. On the front side of your paper, right here, you have, uh, it says, uh, the sentence containing a simile, the sentence containing a metaphor. So what I want you to do is I want you to write the sentence that you believe is a simile on the first line and the one that you think is a metaphor on the second line. So here we go. Being with my students was pure heaven, period. Number two, you behaved like absolute angels. That's number two. So pause the video and write down your answers to see where that goes. Remember, a simile uses like or as to compare. A metaphor does not. It gives you a comparison without using like or as. Okay, you should have written down your sentences on the paper. So I'm going to move ahead and move on to numbers 1 through 5, and 5's on the back. It says, indicate whether the sentence contains a simile or metaphor. For items 6 through 7, write a simile and metaphor in the sentence. So we're going to uh, read. Staying inside all day was like being in prison. Is that a simile or metaphor? If it is a simile... I want you to underline the word that gave you the hint that it was. So staying alive all day was like being in prison. I'm sorry, staying inside all day. That's correct. It is a simile because of the word like. 
Now this little line came from Shakespeare. Life is a stage and we are all actors. Life is a stage and we are all actors. So what is happening in this one, the person is comparing life to a stage and they did not use like or as. So it is a metaphor. Number three, Sid was a cheetah in the hundred yard dash. Sid was a cheetah in the hundred yard dash. If you said metaphor, you were correct because we are comparing Sid to the cheetah. Number four, Annabelle's room. Annabelle's room looked like it was hit by a hurricane. Annabelle's room looked like it was hit by a hurricane. That's right. It's a, it's a simile because it uses the word like. Okay, number five. The snow was a blanket covering the yard. The snow was a blanket covering the yard. That's right. It is a metaphor because it's comparing the snow to a blanket that was covering the yard. Okay, for number six and seven, we have to write a simile where it's comparing the lion's roar to another sound. So let's think about that. We are going to compare the lion's roar to another sound using a simile. So what we can do is we can look, uh, let's say, the lion's roar was like what? What was it like? Remember, those lion roars are loud, so think of something loud and fill in the blank. The lion's roar was like blank. Now, I will tell you that metaphors, even to this day, give me a headache. So I'm going to help you with this one. My son was, because we have to do something about a member of your family as an animal at mealtime. My son was a wolf. Now, what does a wolf do? He devours... His prey at, sorry, at the, now I know you're going to run out of room, so just come down here, dinner table. Okay, so the, we had to write a metaphor about someone in your family. Now, I do not have a son. Miss Lynette made this, and I'm just copying what she wrote. My son was a wolf devouring his prey at dinner time. So Miss Lynette was comparing her son to a wolf devouring his prey at dinner time. Like he was just eating, he didn't talk, he was just stuffing his mouth full of food. Okay, so once you have that written down, you may need to pause it and write it down. Now numbers eight and nine, I want you to do on your own. And remember when you're looking for things, when you have a comparison using like or as, you are going to have a simile. But if you have a comparison that is not using like or as, but it's comparing two things together, that's a metaphor. So just remember that. Now, later on today, I will put up a power, uh, not a PowerPoint, a Google slide uh, that's going to explain this a little more. So if you want to wait, it should be up. It's 11 o'clock now. It should be up in about an hour. So if you want to wait to do that, you can. But I will be looking at this when you turn it in next week. So, I will talk to you all later. Good luck.